everybody. I'm back again. Um, today I wanted to um, talk about another aspect of 2 plus 2 equals infinity in my own life. And I thought um, that I would bring forward the subject of having done um, this portrait of my father um, that he, he used to come to visit me every summer. And of course, every summer he demanded that I do his portrait. And on this summer that he came in 1992, he told me that he would really like for me to do the portrait, um, how Cezanne painted his gardener, Monsieur Vallier, because he said, do you realize he immortalized Monsieur Vallier? He's in the Tate, he's in the Tyson. Um, and so my father wanted to be immortalized because two plus two equals infinity. Art is more than two plus two equals four. It's forever. It, it lasts forever. There's the soul that comes forward through art. It's our language, our spiritual language that communicates between me and you through the brushstroke. So I set about following the orders of my father, who was quite an authoritarian, and I got to work on his portrait. Um, of course, I wanted it to be very Cezanne-esque because my father was a Cezanne um, lover. And um, so I, I allowed the white of the canvas to remain the lightest light. So I went about painting all of the negative space as my father sat under the pines at our house. And of course, he put on a hat just like Monsieur Vallier. And um, I worked on it and worked on it for until I felt that it had come to a certain stage. But then I walked away from it to see and to tell my father that I thought it was finished. And I started crying because I was so disappointed at how terrible the portrait was. And all I could see was all of the terrible things. Nothing was working to me. And I just felt that I, I didn't get my father. I didn't get his eyes, his nose, his mouth, his sense of humor. I just um, got what I got. And in the end, two weeks went by, three weeks went by, and then I pulled it out. And I started looking at it, and I was um, applauded by my husband. He said, that's really a great portrait. And then my father walked by. He was still visiting, and he said, oh, yeah, you, you really got it. And it almost made me mad that they liked it. But I realized that we can't be good. We are not good judges of our own work, because a lot of times when we let go of our intellect and we let go of our ego and we really let the brushstroke go straight from what we feel, smell, taste, see, from all that's deep down inside goes out in these, this poetry of brushstrokes onto the canvas without our, without our knowing it. Then when we see the final result, often I've realized that our intellect or ego or whatever it is makes us blind to the beauty of what we just did through grace. So I think it's, be careful, I'm saying, if you uh, wash off your painting right after you finished it because it was a disaster, because it may not be. It may, it may be your greatest masterpiece. For me, this painting, no one could give me any amount of money to have this painting taken away, to buy this painting. I, it's priceless. It, I have immortalized my father. I've immortalized him to the point that he is in my book on the dedication page. I put him on the dedication page and I gave him his um, immortality saying, this book is dedicated to my father, James Lee Steenheis, who sparked my passion for Cezanne and who believed in me before I believed in myself. Way back in high school, he believed in me. And then when I came home from college and said I wanted to major in art and he was going bankrupt, 
He said, Jill, look at this catalog of Sotheby's. They're selling these paintings for $200,000, $300,000. He said, go to France. Learn everything you can from Cezanne. And he just all of a sudden knew that I would be the next Cezanne. That's how much he believed in me. He was disillusioned with business. Business was no longer the answer. Art was the answer. And I think in our times today of 2020, it can also be the answer. So two plus two equals infinity. And you yourself can immortalize what you believe in. Okay, so the painting is finished, and um, it's a way that I feel that I had the presence of my father with me. And um, presence is such a powerful word because presence means that I was full. And so I had this presence that helped to take me away from my intellect and go into this subject matter that had to do with the life of my father and me, all of the horseback riding we did and all of the things we enjoyed together. And it just all comes flooding back 20 years later. He, he died 20 years ago. So thank you for being part of the dialogue. <laughs>